Oh, all right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here one and only. And how are my adventurers doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. So, uh, as you guys can see from the title and from what's going on on the screen, I'm doing my first ever uh, devlog because I am trying to make my first ever game and I chose the most simple thing to do and that was to use RPG Maker XP just to get like a few knowledge of, you know, map map and world building, you know, get that knowledge before I actually move on to like something of higher quality. You know, it's like Unity, you know, uh, Unreal Engine like five, you know, stuff like that, or the higher RPG maker that's supposed to be coming out. But the reason I chose XP was because it was the only one that had a uh, Pokemon Essentials and the Pokemon Essential can't go to any of the, you know, the newer RPG makers, which is unfortunate. So I was thinking to myself, I eh, might as well make my first game be something that I wanted to do as a kid. And that that was making a Pokemon game. And dude, I had so much fun making this map. And this is only the first area. I have lots of ideas of how I want to make the game. But um, I have no art skills or anything like that. I don't want any of the original Pokemon to be left in this game. <laughs> so I thought to myself, why don't I do this uh, in a more different way? Let's let's go ahead and hire Fiverr people. <laughs> yes, this is what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be trying to find Fiverr people who can, you know, make concepts of like the monsters that I'm trying to like put in. Uh, so I should also say the premise of how I am going to try and make the game. First off, all of these assets are placeholders at the moment. All of them fully placeholders. I'm going to be having at least somebody try and make templates for me in the future. As of right now, this is just map layout and everything, just getting experience of how, you know, RPG Maker XP works. Uh, the only unfortunate thing about um, using this is that it's really outdated. I can definitely say that, like, XP is really outdated. If I could use any of the newer ones with essentials, I would, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm very limited to what I can't do. But um, I have a lot of tricks and things in mind that I can do, like character changing. Uh, I'm going to be doing something different than the whole, hey, Professor Oak telling you how the game goes and stuff like that. I want to do something more interesting. I do want there to be like, you know, some costumes or different. Nah, no, let's not say costume. Let's say different character models that you guys can like choose from. I already have that planned out of how I want to do that, which is going to be pretty fun to actually uh, make next video because that's going to be the dev. The second dev log is making the start. This is just making the town that you'll start and after you pick that character and I'll just show you guys the premise of what I'm going for at that moment. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous because I, I, I this is my first time ever making a game. Not sure how it's going to be received. I don't have any other monsters like, you know, concepts right now because I'm still looking between fiber people and seeing like, you know, who's the cheapest with high quality. Uh, unfortunately, the artist that I wanted to hire is not taking orders right now. Unforge. Feels bad, mate. Depressed. <laughs> but um, I think I'm going to focus on the map sprites first before I actually get in the monsters and get somebody to make that for me. Uh, so this game, as I was going to say, <laughs> as this premise, I want it to be like a medieval fantasy type setting. But as a man of culture, I'm going to make it a monster girl game. <laughs> 
But yes, you you heard me right. I want to make it a Monster Girl game. Um, how should I say this? It's going to be etchy. It's not going to be like adult themed or anything like that. You know, ooh, porn. <laughs> it's not going to be like that. It's it's literally just going to be etchy now and then. I I want to put like some badass freaking Monster Girls in here, and some cute ones, and you know some terrifying ones <laughs> hope hope none of you guys have spider phobia no <laughs> i'm gonna keep the typings and everything but i if i'm able to rename them i will i'm still exploring xp right now uh doing like simple things you know like like that um sooner or later i'm gonna do events for this town actually i'm gonna do events inside of the um, the starting area, the actual starting area, where you actually like choose your character model and stuff like that. Uh, so I think that's where I'm gonna actually stop. Well, uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm actually gonna start off with this is doing character models. Well, getting somebody to create character models and um, sprites. Uh, that's the main thing I'm going to work with. Oh, but I can say this. I am looking forward to seeing how this game will, uh, how this game will do. Hey, if, if it fails, it fails. Hey, at least I tried something, you know, tried something new, but I'm, I'm looking forward to the future of doing all this. Okay. So here's part of the video where I'm trying to make like the starting area. You know, and then I'm going to check and see if all the collisions are working. I'm not going inside of things. You know, I shouldn't be going inside. Um, so this is about where the video is about to end for my, uh, you know, making of the first world. I have a little bit of details and things to do on this map, which I'll do later. Uh, this was just a small thing I did before I had to go to work, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, everything worked out. So yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, so, <laughs> oh my God. Now I think about it, this is gonna cost a lot of moolah. And I, I don't know what I could possibly offer through a Patreon to even do all of this. Yeah, I don't think I can offer anything through a Patreon. That's why a Patreon was so difficult for me to actually, to actually do. But I'm not, even if I did start a Patreon, I wouldn't do it until I actually, you know, had concepts for the monster, the monster girls themselves, at least the starters. That's, that's what I'm doing for concepts for when I'm done with like, you know, the character model and the, um, you know, the, the temp, uh, towel sets. That's what they were called. Towel sets. Once I'm done with the towel sets, then, you know. Well, once they're done with the towel sets, then uh, I can start putting that together, you know, giving some people some things to look at, you know, get get something visually there and see if they want to, you know, support the game from there. But uh, Patreon probably won't be a thing. <laughs> and I'll probably just, you know, use the money I earn from work, you know, just budget the hell out of myself, though. And go through that and work with some fiber people. Uh, also, while building my skill inside of the, you know, using RPG Maker, and hopefully, please, Debs, for the new one you're making, the un, what was it, Unite? The RPG Maker Unite, please, please, for the love of God, put Ruby coding into that as well as an option, along with the newer features. I beg of you, <laughs> I, I beg of you so much, please. <laughs> But yeah, with that said, um, yeah, this, this is going to also be very time consuming because most artists take like the uh, one week, two weeks. So it, it could be a couple of weeks before, um, you know, I have something going towards like concepts. Uh, at the moment, I think there's there's some artists that will take like at least a week for towel sets 
and some of them for like characters could be like up to five days depending on how much I order for it. It it all depends. <laughs> That's all I can say. It really, really all depends and I'm looking forward to seeing like what I can make out of this. Uh, cause I, I want to experience what Steam is like from like a developer point of view. I want to see like, I want to experience how it is to update a game on the Steam. And I want to experience like the full developer experience. <laughs> That's all I can say. I, I, I would just want to get behind it and just see what happens. Hey, if all else fails, like I said, I, I tried something new and interesting for myself. And something I've been wanting to do ever since I was like a kid. Since I was like a kid, I've been wanting to make a Pokemon game. And now look at me, I'm an adult and here I am <laughs> doing my first attempt. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. It's a strong